That's great. Is this is this on? Yep, it's on. Okay. All right. So shoot. All right. Thank you, Mr. Life, for joining us today. We really uh, are really glad to have you here. Oh no, no. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. I, you know, it's great to be here. So, Mr. Life, I think uh, we will begin with the most basic question that everyone is wondering. What is it that you do? That's a very valid question. So, um, yeah, I do know that a lot of people actually are wondering, well, what's my purpose in this world, right? Um, honestly, um, what I do is I add turbulence to people's life. I spice it up. I keep people on their tiptoes, okay? So, you know, a lot of people's life gets a little boring. So I come along and I try to add a little bit of spice into their life. Speaking about uh, events that you have twisted before in people's lives, what was the first one that uh, you recall doing? Okay, that, that's great. I actually brought a video um, here. Maybe they can play in a second. This was actually taking place, uh, I believe it was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, 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 we have it. Can, can we play it? I know, I did feel bad actually. Uh, I, I mean, I was young. I, I had, you know, now I try to take stuff a little more subtle. Not so, so wait physical. a minute, you were a teenager when you did that one? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. It was back in the days. Um, like I said, um, I've, I've simmered down my events. I'm not as physical anymore. I try to do a little more. Uh, you keep it classier. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Plus, actually, as you, uh, as, uh, the more years you're in this business, um, you gain different strategies and um, you can actually make yourself invisible, and that, I mean, that's in like first year though. But uh, in uh, third year, um, you can actually uh, just whisper in someone's ear and tell them what to do. Uh, what are some of the other events uh, that you did later? Okay, so actually, I brought one that I did very recent. It was, uh, I recall, it was four months ago, okay? Four months ago. Uh, it's about this girl getting a promotion, and it's, it's just great. Just, I brought the video too. Okay? Let's take a look. Hey, Sally. Don't want to interrupt, because I know you're probably hard at work, as usual. But say, is there anything you might want to tell me? Any new or exciting news that I might want to know about? Uh, no. No, nothing. Have you heard of any news about who's going to be filling in Phil's position? You know what? Yeah, actually. Now that you mentioned it, I actually heard your name being thrown around quite a bit. Honestly, no one else fits those requirements like you, so it makes sense that it'd be you. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to hear. Hey Zoe, could you mark me into my office, please? Zoe, as you may or may not have heard, a new position has recently opened up. 
Uh, and let me tell you that all your hard work has definitely not gone unnoticed. Your punctuality, you have excellent work ethic, exceptional organizational skills. There's no question that you're an asset to this company. Which is why we think that you should be just fine looking for a new job. I... What? What? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, my heart goes out to that girl. Yeah. She was, she was so hyped for the position. She actually thought she had it. I, I honestly don't even know what to say Incredible. because... It's... So unpredictable. Yeah. So unpredictable. So what are each of these events called? So, like, whenever I twist the, the life of someone? Yes. Okay, so back in college, actually, they they call they like to call those events PB events, okay? Uh, what P stands for is plot, and B stands for bend. So it's someone's life who's... Uh, so it's taking a person and their story, and the plot of their life is being bent. I bend their life. And in that event, it's called the PB event. So some of this plot bending, or PB as you like to call it, is it can be a pretty cruel and inhumane type of job uh, when it comes to these people's lives. You really are twisting their lives in a way that they never expected. So, do you ever feel bad for the stuff that you do? You know, no, not really. Hi, I'm Carlos.